Hey, how's it going? Doing great, how are you? Looks like you got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Tell me you didn't rob a toy store, man. Uh, tell me what you got here. I have all the toys from Toy Story. And no, I did not rob a toy store. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today to try and sell my toys from the Toy Story collection. I started collecting these toys in 2009. The condition of my toys have never been played with. I think the set in general I find really cool because it really brings the movie to life. I'm looking to get $1,175 for my Toy Story collection. Crazy movie for its time, man. It really, really was. Toy Story came out in 1995, and it was the first full-length digital animation film. That's pretty amazing. I remember the first movie really well. You know, Buzz Lightyear, he actually thought he was a real astronaut, you know, to infinity and beyond. And then Woody wasn't the cool guy anymore. Buzz Lightyear was. It was one of those movies where adults and kids can relate to. And I'm assuming that's where a lot of its success came from. Yeah. I mean, it's been, what, 25 years, and this is still going on. I mean, the fourth one was the highest grossing one of them all yet. So we got Buzz Lightyear, we got Woody, we've got Mr. Potato Head. I forget the dinosaur's name. Rex. Rex, OK. Yes. I know these were originally made for kids, but now it seems adults are really into collecting them, especially the certified ones. So you got COAs for all this stuff, or? Um, some of it. Back in 2009, they came with the Toy Story Signature Collection. So Woody, Buzz, Jesse, the Green Aliens, Bucket of Soldiers, RC, and Mr. Pithead all came with the COA. OK. Give me an idea. What are you looking to do with it? I'm looking to sell it. And how much are you looking to get? Eleven seventy-five. OK. Um... I know that certain collections of these toys can be worth a lot of money, but you have so many pieces here, I don't really know how to price this all out. I've got a buddy right across the street, owns a toy shop. He can give me an idea of what this stuff is worth. Do you mind if I have him come down and take a look at it? No, that sounds good. All right, well, look around. I got some pretty cool stuff in here myself, and I'll, uh, I'll be right back, OK? All right, I'll do that. Thank you. My biggest concern with the expert is that I don't have all the pieces still in box, and that could lower the value. Got quite a bit for you here today. What a great collection. Toy Story was great because it's the first time that Disney and Pixar worked together, and it really kicked off what we see animation today in movies. And just think of what they did. They took the child's imagination and put it on a screen and brought all of those toys to life for you. And they had great actors involved. You know, you had Tim Allen, who was coming off of his hit with Home Improvement, and he was such a recognizable voice. You had Tom Hanks, who just come off Forrest Gump, took $50,000 to play Woody in the first movie and $5 million in the second. You had the great Don Rickles playing a character like Mr. Potato Head. The pairing of the voice actors to the actual toys that were put on screen was perfectly fit to appeal to both kids and their parents. And, you know, collectors clamor for this stuff, and there's tons of additions because of that. I know he said something about a signature collection, what do you know about that? Disney knows merchandising, and they didn't miss a beat with the merchandising for Toy Story. The signature collection is supposed to be kind of like the Cadillac of them, where it's the best made versions to date of these toys. What they did is they put them in special collector boxes with little COAs just to kind of identify that they were a collector edition, because that's how it was sold, to be a collectible. So is there anyone in particular that stands out to you? Woody is the most collectible. This Woody in particular is actually going to have more phrases than any of the other editions of Woody to this point. And the voice on this actually isn't Tom Hanks. It's actually his brother. Really? Yeah. It was cheaper for them to go and get him to voice it instead of bringing Tom Hanks in to voice <laughs> it at that point. Interesting. Very cool. So give me an idea of what a collection like this could be worth. Well, you know, it, it's funny because you've got a mixture of toys here. Bullseye, Jesse, even the Woody would actually have come out from the signature collection. However, because people bought them to collect them, there's a lot on the market that are actually still brand new sealed in the box. A purist collector is going to want to have really mint boxes, plus some of the toys that you have here are newer editions that are still being produced today direct at retail. Like, for example, the phone. I can get it brand new for around $15 to $18. OK, so all in all, the whole setup here, what are we looking? You know, if everything was from the signature collection, 
And in the original box, I would think you would have no problem getting somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000 for the entire collection. As it sits, because of the items that have been opened and that some of the additions are newer additions that are fairly common to find in these collections, I would expect that you would only be able to get $400 for this collection as it sits. Not what I was hoping to hear, man, but thanks for coming down. Yeah, no problem. Sorry. Good luck. Thank you. I kind of got a feeling that wasn't what you were hoping for. No, it wasn't what I was hoping for. You know, for me to make any money off this, man, I'd offer you like 300 bucks. 300. Um, could you possibly do like 350? I'll go 325. Okay, 325. Got a deal? All yeah. right. Um, head around the corner, someone will write you up. You might want to order lunch or something because there's a lot of stuff to write up here. Okay. All right, I appreciate it, man. Take care. I didn't quite get my asking price, but I'm happy I made the sale. I think the toys will go to a good home.